we're back out in the lakes again today and this is another impromptu trip. I was actually going to the post office to deliver some postcards and then somehow I've ended up on the side of Coniston. I always take my camera with me just in case and today it's worked out quite well. So it's really windy today but I'm quite liking these trees down here. The sun keeps breaking out and it's sort of making the trees white which is contrasting really well with the dark water so just gonna wait a few minutes see if that comes out again and I'll run through a photo with you and I'm also testing out a new GoPro I got this one for my dad for Christmas and this morning we booked a last minute ski holiday so we're going on Saturday so I'm working out how to use this seems to be the same just seems to eat my battery but let me know what you think about the audio and picture quality. I was having some trouble syncing up the lips. There's um, a lot of jets flying through today. But I think it's going to work out quite well. Uh, there's another jet. that on our side. With this one I've got 135mm and a polarizer and we're getting that tree there. I've gone for a landscape shot and getting a tree on the right and I'm just using that polarizer to make the water pretty much black. It's getting rid of all the, the glare and it feels like that sun is about to break through. I've had to increase the ISO a little bit just because I want to get that shutter speed and then we can freeze the tree rather than get in. Um, I don't like it when there's movement. The sun's just come out now and it's lighting it up quite nice. It's really standing out there. Just swap this over to a portrait shot and I think I actually prefer this. Double check the focus. And I've decided to stick the tree right in the middle. Some people don't like that, but I quite like it this time around. I think what I want to do now though is head up there and we should get a view across to Connor Snowman and Weatherland I think if it works out like it does in my head anyway and there was a load of clouds up on the top when I was driving here so we'll try and make the most of that. I'm more of a mountain person than a, a random tree person so probably get a bit more excited up there. I've never had this view before. You get a full view of Coniston. Pretty impressive. I've been wandering around for a little bit now and I think I found something that I like. Off in the distance, I think it's above Tilbethwaite. There's, the sun has broken out onto the tops. So there's like a, a really dark cloud above it with some white highlights there's sun on the hills and a beam of light has just broken out on that right hand side so I'm just using my body to shelter this camera the wind is coming from behind me so it should block out most of it and I'm just gonna wait here until there's like a big beam of light and it could happen that's quite a big ask though, but we'll wait here for a bit longer, then I think I might drop down to that other side, but we'll see what the light does. Can't work out if it's my eyes playing tricks on me, or if it's like a really dark line. Just the camera picks up. Yeah, there is a really dark line. That's the opposite of what I was asking for. Maybe that's more interesting. I'm going to leave that now, and We'll go and find something else. I'd quite like to do something now we've got this like full view of Coniston. But I think that'd be a really weird panorama. It'd be like really thin. 
because there's not a lot going on down here. We'll go and try something with the trees. I found another tree that I like the look of. I think they call these ones silver birches and that one on the left is standing out quite a lot and behind it there's a little bit of light and occasionally that sun keeps breaking out again and when it does that tree stands out a lot so I've got this one set up on here using 135 again and I'm at f2 this time I want to try and make it stand out more maybe the faster shutter speed will help and then we can avoid that motion blur I think I'm going to end this one here though we're going to come back to this spot maybe when it's snowy or misty I found a few places that I want to come back to but it looks like we should be able to get a lot of GoPro footage on this should be able to get about an hour per video which I did want to try and get more for him but four hours a day should be plenty if the batteries arrive I was hoping to film the whole trip but between his GoPro and mine it should be good but let me know what you think about the footage from this video and yeah we'll go a bit higher next time